Hello everybody, in this Rhino video demo, I would like to show how we can add a background image into a scene for rendering purpose. Okay, let's start. Okay, this is the scene that I want to add a background image to. And this is the image that I want to use as the background. And as you can see, over here, uh, its current resolution is a uh, 2400 by 1800. Okay, so um, now let's head over to Rhino. Okay, the first thing that we might want to do is to uh, create a new viewport. So I'm going to uh, right mouse click over here. You can go to the viewport layout and select a new viewport. So you have a new viewport, and let's set it to perspective the next thing that we will want to do is to set it to the resolution or the aspect ratio that is corresponding to the background okay so with the Correct viewport being highlighted, we go to the property window, okay, the first icon, and at the width, at the height, we set it to the resolution or the aspect ratio, okay, so it's actually 2400 by 1800, okay, now notice that it is like way too big, okay, so what we can do um, is to have factors of the original resolution. That means uh, maybe I want to use 2400 divided by 3, which is 800 for the width. So I type 800. And then for the height, um, as you can see over here, the original uh, is 1800, right? So uh, I have to divide by 3 again. So 1800 divided by 3 will be 600, okay? Okay, so uh, this uh, viewport is set to the uh, correct proportion, okay? Okay, now the next thing that um, you can do is to uh, bring in the background, okay? So you can go to the properties uh, window again. Under the wallpaper, uh, under the file name, we can uh, click to browse our uh, image, okay, which is uh, this image here, okay. And you can see that uh, it's been placed as a background. Okay, there are two things to uh, be aware of. Is first that uh, there is this show option if you uncheck it you will not uh, display the background and then there is also this gray gray means um, if it's enabled uh, what you get is a grayscale version of the background okay so uh, I want to uncheck it so that I'm seeing the, uh, the actual color okay so, uh, now maybe let me set this to render mode for a better preview Okay, your final render um, will best match the ray trace mode. So uh, let's change it to the ray trace mode. And you notice that the background is uh, no longer appearing. Okay. To fix that, let's uh, head over to the render windows. Okay. If you do not have render window over here, it's actually. Uh, this icon here but you do a right mouse click okay you do a right mouse click to uh, display it okay so what happened was that at the background section we have set it to solid color so we also have to use this uh, render window setting to uh, do our uh, setups okay in this case here the backdrop must be set to wallpaper 
okay yep as you can see over here now I set to wall wallpaper and the next thing that I might want to do okay depending on the situation uh, you might want to add some ground shadow okay so in this case here I would think I'll need some ground shadow and to do that got to uh, enable the ground plane okay and go to the ground plane setting click on this to go to ground plane setting and make sure that the ground plane uh, is turned on and then at the effects there you got the option of using a material for the ground plane or just uh, show shadow only so in my case I want to just show the shadow only okay so uh, I go to uh, enable show uh, shadow only click OK Okay, I think this is about the correct uh, setting that I want to use. Okay, so more or less I'm done with the setting up. And the next thing I can uh, do is to proceed to do the rendering. Okay, so uh, what I can do is I uh, go to the display tab and click on this capture view port to file okay okay so this is the viewport capture setting and currently is um, setting the resolution to viewport which is 800 by 600 so as you know our original background is uh, 240 by 1800 so I think I would like to set it to this uh, resolution okay so there are a few ways you can do it okay one is to use the scale option here you can see that now the scale is set set to 2 and that resolution is uh, set to uh, 1600 by uh, 1200 pixel so if I set it to 3 notice that it goes back to 2400 by 1800 okay yeah so with all this setting done we can proceed to click the ok to do the rendering okay and uh, maybe before that you also might want to check the the number of passes okay by default it's set to 500 but if you want to have uh, better quality renders you can set this to a higher numbers okay so I think I'll just leave it as a 500 and click OK so Reno will prompt you for the location of your render okay so you can click save to start the rendering process okay I'm not going to do the render okay and I'm going to click cancel but if you want render you just uh, click the save okay i think uh, with that i come to the end of this uh, demonstration hope that's been useful to you see you around bye